What should the country expect from the president's speech on Tuesday? The unexpected, because President Trump and candidate Trump took the regular structures of campaigning in the presidency and then turned them into the Trump show. Face the Nation host John Dickerson says Republicans want the president to issue detailed marching orders in his first primetime televised address to Congress. What they need is the president to advocate a clear policy on one of the big things he wants to take on, whether it's tax reform or the Affordable Care Act replacement, to make a case and to give them ammunition in their conversations to sell that program to the public. Tom Perez. Democrats, meanwhile, are organizing their opposition. On the heels of selecting a new National Committee chair this weekend, Tom Perez, who was President Obama's Labor Secretary. A united Democratic Party is not only our best hope, it is Donald Trump's worst nightmare. While Mr. Trump sent a sarcastic tweet congratulating Perez yesterday, today he claimed the DNC vote was rigged. Also this weekend, the president announced on Twitter he will not attend the White House Correspondents Association dinner in April. Trump was the punchline of Mr. Obama's jokes at the dinner in 2011. No one is prouder to put this birth certificate matter to rest than the Donald. And that's because he can finally get back to focusing on the issues that matter. Like, did we fake the moon landing? Divisions also emerged this weekend among Republicans over whether a special prosecutor should investigate Russian interference in the U.S. election. You cannot have somebody, a friend of mine, Jeff Sessions, who was on the campaign and who was an appointee. You're going to need to use the special prosecutor's statute and office to take, not just to recuse. Tonight, the President and First Lady will be hosting the annual Governor's Ball here at the White House. They will be joined by Vice President Pence and his wife, promoting a message of collective strength and shared values. Elaine? Errol Barnett, thanks.